I hear you had a good time with Becky last night. Don't. Even my eyelids are throbbing this morning. Well, if you will go out clubbing with the laddettes. I don't know why I do it. I can't keep up with her. Well, why don't you try giving her the swerve for a bit? I'll just be up front with her. I hate not being straight with people. Even better. Right, then I will. Hiya, Claire. Becky, how are you? How are you? <laughs> it's dying last night, oh, man. Wasn't it fabulous? Yeah, yeah, we should do it again. I can't wait. <laughs> Although I was wondering, um, what? Maybe we should ring the changes a bit. Try the amateur dramatics I talked about. Yeah, brilliant. Right, well, uh, let's chat later. I've got to dash. Okay, yeah. see you, Claire. So, oh, any road to back from the brewery yet? Uh, don't know. Oh, someone called Bernie rang, so he's gone off to meet her. Eh? Uh. Yeah, it was a woman. Hi. Took the phone call. There you go, love. Pint of lager, please. So, am I not bad then? Well, it depends what stunts you're thinking of planning. No more stunts. Honest. Well, not against you anyway. Lloyd's a different matter, of course. Sorry, am I supposed to care? Engagement rings. Oh, you went down on one knee. Are you serious about this? Uh, I don't know, but if it keeps him guessing. <laughs> oh, hello, love. What are you having? Full orange juice, please. What's this? Uh, I picked it up from a shop this morning. Yeah, but we're not engaged. Oh, he's got a terrible memory, you know. Mm, well, the old street saw you go down on one knee from what I heard. Yeah, but I didn't propose. Will you tell her? You know, he can say some very hurtful things sometimes. Oh, look, I'm up for a wind-up as much as the next man, but five grand. Right, that's it. If there's one thing I can't stand him on, it's being tight. It's off. But tight's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> off. You heard her, Michelle. She called it off. That's a verbal. How are you, Rosie? I'm not too bad. But the dev says they've let him out. Mm. And it's the disgrace. If you'd done anything like that to Amber... You'd end up inside, like I did. Well, well, can I get you a drink, anyway? Um, I'll have a spritzer, please, Morris. Oh. You see, love, everyone's behind you. Yeah. Anyway. I don't believe this. Has he got a nerve or what? No warning letter this time. Two pints of bitter, please, Michelle. It's all right, John, I'll get these. Oh, won't you serve me either? Funny smell in there suddenly. Yeah, it gets right up your nose. It's good, good to see you, John. Here, here. Thank you. Whenever you're ready to come back to the cafe. Yeah, well, you won't see me in there. Or me. Maybe you should finish your drinks and go home. But I've done nothing wrong. You what? Why don't you tell them the truth, Rosie? Don't you talk to me! Don't go anywhere near her. Kevin. I'm no nearer now than I was yesterday. You attacked me! I just, how did I do that? What? That's a simple question. You are sick! No, but I think people have the right to know. Like, whereabouts did I grab you, for instance? <laughs> I am not going into that here. Yeah, because as you well know, I never touched you. I refused to give you money, and so you falsely accused me. Mum, I don't want to hear this. You're too demure to go into the sordid details. Fair enough. We all know how modest you are. Yeah, well, she was till she met you. Right, then let's turn to me locking you in. Explain how I did that. <laughs> With a lock, you weirdo. What kind of lock was it? The one on the door. So how did you get out? Was it a Yale, a Mortis? I don't know the names. Well, then just describe it. We all know what they look like. Just tell everyone how exactly I locked you in and how exactly you got out 